Welcome everyone. Uh, in the previous video, we have introduced what is mean by Venn diagram, and we have presented the equivalent circuit for the forward and reverse wires Venn diagrams, and also we present briefly how to use this Venn diagram as a single pole Venn diagram switch, and we said that. In this case, the Venn diagram can be used in series or in parallel to the load impedance. And we have studied qualitatively how this Venn diagram switch can be operated. Now we are going to represent this qualitative study for the Venn diagram switch with quantitative study. In this case, we are going to replace the Venn diagram by equivalent impedance Z diode. And this Z diode will be connected at the first port by the source, which is assumed to be uh, having an amplitude voltage 2V node and a characteristic impedance Z node. On the other hand, the other terminal is connected to the load which is assumed to have a characteristic impedance Z dot. For the case of series uh, bin diode switch, uh, the diode impedance will be connected in series. For the case of barrel diode switch, the diode impedance will be connected in barrel. For both, for both cases, we are interested in finding out the insertion loss for uh, this Venn diode switch. So the insertion loss will be defined as minus 20 log the load voltage VL over V0 at the input port. If we are not talking about uh, the switch here, so when the load would be connected to the source, the input voltage here or the voltage will be divided between the input impedance of the source and the input impedance of the load. So the voltage here would be V0. So V load over V0 in this case, or V load, it would be V0. And all the signal it will pass to the load. So the insertion loss in this case would be minus 20 log V0 over V0. So it would be zero. There will be no insertion loss in this case. Now, if we have a diode, we are going to begin with the reflection coefficient. So, if we are talking about the reflection coefficient, we say that the input impedance here, Z input equals Z diode plus Z node. So the reflection coefficient gamma it would be z diode plus z naught minus z naught over z diode plus z naught plus z naught. So this simply would be z diode over z diode plus two z naught. Okay, now the transmission coefficient T would be uh, 1 minus gamma, so it would be minus 1 minus ZT over ZT plus 2 Z naught. From this, it would be two z naught over z d plus z naught. This transmission coefficient, the insertion loss is minus 20 log this transmission coefficient. So it would be minus 20 log 2 z naught over 2 z naught plus z d. This is the insertion loss for the case of series diode switch. For the case of barrel diode switch, the input impedance here, Z input, would be ZD 
also by, by z naught over z d plus z naught and from this we say that the reflection coefficient gamma would be the input impedance z d multiplied by z naught over z d plus z naught minus z naught over this plus z naught by simplifying this we can say that okay the reflection coefficient it would be here z d z naught here and minus z naught squared so we can say that the reflection coefficient would be z d z naught minus z naught z d minus z naught squared over z d z naught plus z naught z d plus z naught squared this will be eliminated with this would be minus z naught squared over here to z d z naught so gamma would be minus z naught squared over uh, z naught multiplied by 2 z d plus z naught so we can eliminate this with this so we have minus z naught over 2 z d plus z naught now the transmission coefficient t would be 1 minus gamma so it would be my 1 minus minus would be plus z naught over 2 z d here it should be minus z naught or plus here z d z naught over z d plus z naught ah here it should be 1 plus gamma not 1 minus gamma so here it would be 1 minus 2 z d plus z naught from this it would be 2 z d over 2 z d plus z naught because we are talking about barrel not series so the insertion loss in this case it would be 2 z d over 2 z d plus z naught by taking minus 20 log of this value we obtain the insertion loss so from here we can obtain the insertion loss for the case of a series diode and we have the insertion loss for the case of a barrel diode from this if we have the diode resistance and the diode or, or the diode impedance the diode impedance for the case of the forward biasing for the case of the forward biasing it would be the forward resistance plus g omega multiplied by the parasitic inductance l r for the reverse bias if you remember the reverse bias it would be have equivalent circuit the parasitic inductance and the junction capacitor and the reverse resistance so the input impedance for the diode in this case it would be the reverse resistance plus g omega l where L here is a parasitic inductance due to the lead minus 1 over G omega C or plus 1 over plus 1 over G omega C so 1 over G is minus G so we have taken G as a common factor so minus 1 over omega C G where CG here is a junction capacitor and as I said 
uh, for reverse biasing the dominant term it would be uh, the reactance due to the junction capacitance for the forward biasing the dominant term it would be the forward resistance so this is how to calculate the insertion loss for both the forward and reverse bias now to understand the behavior of the switch we are going to assume this diode is forward biased and calculate the insertion loss for the forward bias which should be very small value and then we make the diode is reverse biased and we calculate the insertion loss which should be very high value for the case of the series on the other hand for the case of the barrel let us clear it for the case of the barrel or shunt diode if the diode is forward biased the impedance of the diode is very small so the insertion loss it would be very large because here this value is very small so this log would be log of a very small value it would be negative value negative value multiplied by minus 20 it would be large value so if the die is forward biased in the shunt it will have high insertion loss if the diode is reversed biased if the diode is reversed biased the impedance will be will be very high if the impedance here is very high this ratio is nearly unity and in this case the insertion loss would be nearly zero so for the shunt switch the switch will be turned on or there is no insertion loss when the diode is reversed biased on the other hand for the series diode uh, the switch will be switched on when the forward when the diode would be forward biased such that zd would be nearly zero so in this case this term it would be nearly unity and the insertion loss it would be zero d uh, if you are interested in double throw instead of single throw this means that i have a single input and two outputs and i want to make the switch such that uh, if the signal at a certain biasing the signal goes from the input to port one and at another biasing the signal will go from the input to the port or the output two this is what we are calling single pool double throw single pool i have single input double throw double outputs in the previous case it was single pool single throw and here single pool double throw for single pool double throw we use two pin diodes reverse to each other such that if i am going to make the voltage at this point is positive and the voltage at this point is uh, the voltage is at this point sorry if we are talking the voltage at this point is positive and the voltage at this point is negative so this diode is turned off and the voltage at this point is higher than the voltage at this point so this diode is turned on so if this diode is turned on and this diode is turned off such that i have positive here yes i have positive here and i have ground here and this is connected to the ground so in this case if i have positive from here and this is ground or negative and this is more negative in this case the first diode is open and the second diode is off or oh, the first diode is forward biased and the second diode is reverse biased so if i have the positive from here and the ground at the middle 
So if this is positive and this is negative and this is ground. So this die will be forward bias and this die will be reverse bias. And because the die here is in series, so the forward bias die will be switched on. So the signal will go from the input to the output too. Now, if I have reversed the biasing such that this is a positive and this is a negative and this is a ground in this case this diode will be turned on and this diode will be reverse biased when this diode is turned on uh, the switch will be turned on from port input to the output one this is how to use series switches or series diodes as a single pool double throw so in the operation one diode is forward biased in low impedance state and the other diode is reverse biased in high impedance state and the input signal is switched from one output to the other by reversing the diodes or by reversing the biasing states as I said if I have positive here, negative here, and the ground here, this diode will be turned on, so the signal will go from input to output to. If I have positive here, ground here, negative here, so this diode will be turned on, and this diode will be turned off, so the input signal will go from the input to output one. On the other hand, if you are interested in finding out single pool double through by using shunt diodes in this case we have two branches like here and we have two shunt diodes and as in this case the shunt diodes are reversed to each other so if this diode is going from up to bottom this diode is going from bottom to up now if I have positive voltage here with respect to the ground this diode will be turned on and this diode will be turned off if this diode is turned on this means that it is equivalent to short circuit and if this is turned off it means that it will be equivalent to open circuit so in this case the input bar will go from the input here will see a short circuit at this side and will see transmission line with open circuit shunt here so as we say there is nothing connected to the transmission line so the signal will go to the direction of output one to make the signal will go to the output one without being affected from this short circuit we make this diode at a distance lambda by four so if this diode is forward biased, means that it has equivalent impedance as a short circuit. So we have now a short circuit transmission line of total length lambda by 4. And we know that the input impedance of a short circuit stub of lambda by 4, its impedance is infinity. This means that the shunt reactance seen in this direction is infinity in parallel to this transmission line this means that the equivalent circuit here in this side as an open circuit so all the power from input here will have no bus instead of being to the output one so all the power in input port will go to the output port because this is equivalent to open circuit and this also equivalent to open circuit to it because it is reverse part. Now, if I have reversed the biasing such as that, this would be negative with respect to the other terminal, to the ground. If this is negative with respect to this terminal, this means that this diode will be uh, turned off or reverse biased, but this diode will be turned on or forward biased. If this diode is forward biased, it means that it is equivalent to short circuit. And in this case, 
this transmission line section of lambda by 4 which is has been short circuit the equivalent impedance at this terminal or at this point is infinity so the input power will go here and we'll see input impedance infinity in this direction so it will not move in this direction it will start to move in this direction on the other hand this diode is open circuit so his equivalent that this transmission line is not loaded by any load so all the input power here will go to the output too and we say that the quarter wave lines for the shunt circuit limit the bandwidth of this configuration because uh, this configuration is based on the operating frequency which corresponds to this length is lambda by 4. If I have changed this frequency, uh, this will not be completely lambda by 4. This means that when this dive is reversed by this will not be completely infinite. And in this case, it will reduce or make some reflection from this side. And this reflection will go back to the output and will go back to the input too. So, the main disadvantage of the single board double through bin die switch for the case of shunt switches is narrow band because the dimension of this transmission line depends on the operating frequency or the center of operating frequency. However, for the case of series switches, there is no lambda by 4 transmission line. So the bandwidth here is much greater than the bandwidth for the shunt uh, switches. Uh, this is an example for uh, a realized uh, single pool three through bin switches. And effectively, here I have a single input. This is effectively uh, the circuit of uh, a multiplexer where I have uh, three filters, three band bus filters, or three filters. This is two band bus filter and this low bus filter. And I'm switching between uh, these three buses. So I have the input signal coming from this board, and we have two switches here in addition to another switch here. And this is a biasing for the switch. This is a diode, this is a bin diode, this is a bin diode, and here the bin diode is in series, and this is a biasing network for this bin diode. This is the equivalent of chop coil here. This is the equivalent of chop coil here. And this is a biasing. So we have three switches. Switch here and switch here and switch here. And depending on the biasing, which switch is on and the other switches are off. So if the switch, if this switch is Turn it off or reverse bias and this reverse bias and this reverse and this forward bias, the signal will go from the input to this bus. And in addition, we have other diodes here to make lambda by four sections. When this diode is uh, switched off, these diodes are switching on to be grounded here such that this grounded uh, diodes will correspond to short circuit at this section. So the signal will see short uh, circuit transmission line here. It will be reflected back to this direction. And short circuit signal here. And so it will go back to this direction. This is a realization or a, a, a practical example for single board series robin diode switch. Uh, let us take a numerical example uh, and the example will be on single pool bin die switch we see that a single pool switch operating at 1.8 gigahertz is to be constructed using uh, a diode with junction capacitor 0.5 picofarad and forward resistance 1.5 ohms uh, what switch circuit, series or shunt should be used to obtain the greatest ratio of the off to on attenuation? Assume that the parasitic inductance Li is 0.5 nanohenry and the reverse resistance is 2 ohms and 
the characteristic impedance of the system is 50 ohms. At the beginning, we start with calculating, with calculating uh, the impedance of the diode for both the forward and the reverse biasing. For the reverse biasing, we say that the equivalent impedance for the diode for the reverse bias is the reverse resistance plus J multiplied by omega Li, where Li is the parasitic inductance, minus 1 over omega Cj, where Cj is the junction capacitance. Uh, the frequency is determined by 1.8 GHz, so omega is 2 pi multiplied by 1.8 multiplied by 10 to the power of uh, 9. Uh, this is how to calculate omega. And we are going to apply for these values to find out uh, the diode uh, impedance at the reverse biasing. We find that the diode impedance at the reverse biasing is 2 minus J. 171.2 ohms and effectively if we calculate everything separately we will find that the dominant value here is coming from 1 over omega c so effectively the dominant at the reverse bias impedance is due to 1 over omega c on the other hand for for, for the forward biasing uh, the equivalent Impedance Z forward is R forward plus J omega L R. So R forward is 1.5 ohm plus J omega L I. We are going to calculate J omega L I. It would be 5.6 ohms. It is quite clear here. This is omega L I minus 1 over omega C. So it is quite clear. The value of omega L I is just only 5.6. This means once again the dominant of the reverse biasing is due to uh, the junction capacitance. Now we have the forward impedance and the reverse impedance. We say that for the case of the series circuit or series diode switch, the insertion loss is given by minus 20 log 2z0 over 2z0 plus the forward impedance because in the switching on and in the series uh, sorry in the series diode uh, the switch is on for the forward biasing so we are going to take z forward here plus 2 z naught z naught is 50 ohms so this is 100 2 multiplied by 50 100 plus z forward 1.5 plus g 5.6 and here 2 z naught it is quite clear that the forward impedance here is very small compared to 2z0. So this is nearly unity. By taking the log of a uh, value of nearly unity, it is very small value. By taking 20 log of this, it would be fine to around 0.14 dB. On the other hand, for the office state, the office state will happen at the series when the diode is reverse biased. So we are going to replace here Z forward by Z reverse. And in this case, the reverse biasing impedance is comparable to the value of 2Z0. So we are going to take the magnitude of 2Z0 over 2Z0 plus Z reverse, taking the log of this value, taking minus 20 of this log, we find uh, the insertion loss for the office state is uh, 6 dB. On the other hand, for the shunt circuit, the insertion loss for the input or for the on state is minus 20 log 2z the diode, z the diode in the on state for the shunt when the diode is reverse biased over 2 z diode plus z naught so we are going to apply z reverse here to find out the insertion loss for the only state we find that the insertion loss in the only state could be 0.11 db uh, the off state for the shunt diode occurs when the diode is turned on 
So the injection loss for the off state it would be 2 z diode over 2 z diode plus z naught. z diode here is the z forward. So we are going to apply the z forward. Taking minus 20 log the magnitude of 2 z forward over 2 z forward plus z naught. We find that the off state or the injection loss at the off state for the shunt diode is 13.3 dB. It is quite clear here the ratio between the off state and the on state for the shunt diode is much greater than the off state and the on state for the series uh, switch diode. So the shunt configuration has the greatest difference in attenuation between on and off state and has the, the lowest on insertion because the insertion here is lower than the insertion in the case of uh, the series diode. So the shunt configuration has the greatest difference in attenuation between on and off state and has the lowest on insertion loss. This is briefly how to design a single pole diode switch. All right. Uh, in the following video, we are going to discuss how to use these uh, bin diode switches in other applications like a fish shift.